Thank you for joining our Dynamics GP Distribution Web Series. Today we'll be focusing on a hot topic for distributors, order entry efficiency. Let's have a look. Rapid fire order entry is always crucial when it comes to distributors. So in Dynamics GP, you can filter and quickly get to the customer where you want to make the order. You can do ad hoc searches through any of the fields that you see here. So I'm going to select Aaron Fitz. Very quickly, can I select Aaron Fitz and it allows me to see all the information that's relevant for Aaron Fitz. I can see over here his open sales documents. I can view information that, such as their AR history, any CRM notes and activities, as well as all the item history and drill back to say when did they last purchase. I'm going to go ahead and quickly make an, an order for this uh, customer here, Aaron. I'm going to add a new item and I'm going to pull up the edger. He's ordering the Frank Seals edger. I have visibility to see how many are in hand across the organization, what's on back order. I'm going to go ahead and select my item. As I add a new item, again, it allows me to do a quick search through my items. As soon as I start typing in the letter and tab off, it brings me up all the items that are in 3-C. I'm going to go ahead and grab a rack mount, rack mount kit. And as I'm keying in this information, I can see up at the top right hand corner, I can see my total gross margin that's being calculated as we're going through. Also as is the price. At this time, I could process a credit card, I could view the payment, issue or print or email the particular order. Notice I can tailor what I want to see on each line item that's visible across the top here. I'm going to go ahead and add one more line item here that I know is not in stock. I'm going to add some RAM. As I add this item here, I'm going to save my order. It's giving me a visual indicator that my order 2241 is saved and this line item down below is not in stock as it's indicated by its red color. When I save this and there's an item that's not in stock, the purchase button becomes available. So right from with the sales order, I can go ahead and purchase this item and create a PO. I can have my vendor or vendors already set up and my relationships ready to go. I can edit my unit of cost. If nothing, I, if I don't want to change anything, I can go ahead and create my PO. On my standard PO for Dynamics GP, I can make the following changes whether it's dates for the promise date or the expected receipt date, as well as the ship to information. Very often for distributors, you might want to ship it directly to the customer. As I change that, it'll update to the customer information. Perhaps I want to send it directly to a job site. I can do that as well and actually change the ship to address directly to a different address. I can save this. I can print or issue the PO. At this time, when I close it, right from within my order entry screen now, I can view my purchase information as well as my individual sales line items. That is a very brief overview of the Dynamics GP order entry process. Our goal today was just to give you an overall quick insight to how you can rapidly Get information, critical information for better decision making for your customer. Rapid, quick entry on your order entry process. Take an order and create a purchase order and execute that information all without being logged in to your financial system. For more information, please contact the resource group or visit our website. Thank you. Have a great day.